Michael Stewart. I'm the co-founder of an environmental nonprofit called Sustainable Surf. We're focused on moving everyone we can towards more sustainable lifestyle choices. I'm Marcus Mafia. I'm the co-founder of Mafia Bags. We are an app cycling company, just giving new life to old sales and creating bags and other products. And I'm Yves Behar. I'm a designer. I love making things, especially with great people like Michael and Marcos. I came to Marcos with this idea of a bag that was born by the bay, meaning that it was an everyday adventure bag that was just as good in the city as it was tracking down waves. And I had the perfect designer in mind, Ambassador Eve Bahar. It was easy for me. I'm a surfer, and there's a lot that I would like a bag to do. You go to the beach, you have wet stuff. Where do you put the wet stuff? There's still dry stuff there. Overall, you know, really what we were looking for is doing a technical bag, but at the same time keeping it aesthetically really simple. All the functionality is really hidden behind that simplicity. So the inspiration for me was twofold. One, I love all these materials that are recycled that I find here at Mafia Bags. This became, you know, my palette. We use spinnaker sails from boats, uh, which are these white ripstop material, which is super lightweight. We also use recycle climbing ropes. We move the core of the rope and just make it lay flat, but we'll be able to stitch it and create functional loops or handles for the product. We also, also use seat belt webbing, which is good for the straps. And finally, we use this sleeve of a dry suit as the inner part of the water bottle pocket. That's what I love about this bag, the stitching, because the way the sails are constructed may happen in different places. That's something that I always want to achieve in products, which is give them this mass customization look and feel. Um, and that happens naturally when you recycle uh, products such as robes and sails. And then the other inspiration is really the use case. Um, I go to the beach, whether it's for surfing or for swimming, or I go to the pool, and I have wet stuff. So we started with the idea that there would be a large uh, pocket. The other compartments are not going to get wet, like this back compartment where, you know, on the everyday, I have my laptop, for example, and there's some laptop protection. And then the question is, you know, once you take the wet materials out, how do you dry it? The interior lining is waterproof. You can sort of pull it out and you can hang um, the whole thing upside down. The other thing that, that's happening that you may notice is um, the water bo bottle stays in place. We were very conscious that the water bottle may be of different sizes. And the question was, how do we keep the water bottle uh, stable in the bag. And Marcos came up with this idea. So when I push this bottle through, um, it's pretty tight. And when I want to pull it back out, it reverses out so it's even tighter. So the bottle stays in place and doesn't, doesn't come off. That was really an invention. And then we have a secret pocket, <laughs> which is right here on the side along the seam, inside of which there's a hook uh, and a rope for keys. Uh, but you can put your wallet, your passport, and other things in there. Our theme for this bag, which is Born by the Bay, isn't just a tagline. All of these materials are all collected here. So we're cutting all the sails in our workshop here in San Francisco and the bags will be manufactured in Bayview, a few miles away from where we are right now. The funds from the Deep Blue Bag are gonna be used to support our Waste to Waves program, which is really a program that just reimagines waste as a resource instead of a problem. The funds are gonna allow us to expand that program so we can collect more sails, more corks, more wetsuits, upcycle plastic packaging waste into new cool products for a cleaner ocean. Well, being a surfer and being an ocean lover, Obviously, I'm very concerned about the state of the oceans, supporting sustainable surf, supporting Mafia Bags um, in doing this important work is an honor, and uh, I hope you will join us. These materials are born by the bay. This design is born by the bay. This bag is born by the bay. So why are we doing the deep blue bag through Kickstarter? Well, it's because we're a startup nonprofit with a lot of big ideas and we need the capital to bring those ideas to the market. Eve and Marcos have both donated their precious time, resources, and ideas. And your support of this program is actually gonna make this thing happen. It's gonna make it possible. It's not just a bag. It's really a movement that you're joining. By choosing products like this, 
you're voting with your wallet and with your heart for more sustainable lifestyle choices, which is what we call the deep blue life.